Hey Aquarius, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of December 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course, you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading with me if you are interested. All that information is in the description box below this video. All right, and do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed regardless of whether you are cross-watching or watching for yourself. So let's see what is the overall energy for Aquarius. First half of December, we have return. Okay, so somebody is returning here from the past. It could be that you are returning to a particular connection or maybe someone else is returning. Okay, very, very simple. Um, for some, it could definitely be returning to some kind of an energy, but I mostly see this as a particular person Coming back in from the past, so let's actually get into this and see what's going on. So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of December. All right. Yeah, <laughs> starting off the reading, we have the Six of Cups, all right, which does talk about something from the past, either coming back in or some nostalgia, and it is crossed by the world. Oh, okay, so there, a completion of this reconciliation is what the challenge is, is what the issue is. So it feels like there is a person here with whom you might have some an unfinished business, all right, and I do feel like that might be coming back in here in order either to give closure or to resolve something. For the recent past, we have the Six of Swords, so that's definitely having moved away from this connection, and this could be you, it could be them. Um, possibly the both of you just having left this behind, left it in the past, but like I said, there was unresolved business here. Um, in the near future, we have the Page of Swords, so that's definitely communication um, coming up. In your energy, we have the Knight of Cups. For them, we have the Eight of Cups. More about you is the Nine of Cups. For them, the Ten of Wands. And potential outcome here, we have the Two of Swords. Okay. Interesting. It feels like with that potential outcome, um, I don't know if things are actually going to be resolved. I feel like this is coming back, right? There's some communication, but I feel like things might still be left a little bit unresolved or that it's almost like a cliffhanger, like not really knowing, like not, I feel like it's not going to be the end of it. That's for sure. Um, so let's see, for you, we have the Knight of Cups and the, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so the way that this is coming through, it almost feels like, unless the roles, the roles can definitely be reversed. Okay, I cannot stress that enough, but it feels like you are approaching um, this situation, although it could be that this is coming towards you. All right, for sure. We'll see. We'll see, but definitely feeling like whatever this is, this is something that that you do get some kind of fulfillment from. This is a connection that does bring you pleasure. I, like, I do see you wanting this. On some level, at least. Um, for them, there's something here that they're walking away from. I'm not sure if it's you, though, because we also have the Ten of Wands, and the way that everything else is playing out, it just wouldn't make sense to me that they're moving away from you, because I actually see this, like, you know, reconciliation, communication happening here. Yeah, you know, there might not be, um, it's like you don't find that closure. So it's, I feel like the door is still open basically is what this is saying. So I really don't feel like it's this person walking away from you. I feel like it's walking away from something else in their lives that may have been serving as a, as a challenge and something that may have been really weighing heavy on them. So we're gonna clarify and see. So let's clarify that Six of Cups with the world. Yeah, the Lovers, <clears throat> Eight of Cups showing up again. Interesting. And the Nine of Swords. 
All right, so definitely a very deep connection here, okay, with, that you have with somebody. Um, definitely could be a divine soulmate connection. You, you feel like you, this is a person that you may have shared many previous lives with. It, it gives you that kind of a feeling. Um, I'm not sure for some of you if there was a third party involved here or if somebody had to make some kind of, of a decision, some kind of a choice here between... Um, two different situations it does come in a little bit like that and that's what I see this person trying to move away from whoever that is in this connection right and the situation though is creating a lot of stress and not only that I feel like it's th this eight of cups though is also representing the movement away from each other the, the emotional distance that has been created between the two of you right between this lover's energy the connection that you share with this person that is also creating a lot of um, stress, a lot of anxiety. It may be something that was actually suppressed for a while, but it's like it's coming back up. All right, because I do see that in the recent past or in the past overall, like there was a movement away from this. So it's it, it just feels like maybe, you know, you went off doing your own thing. They went off doing their own thing. Um, some time may have passed for some of you. And then now all of a sudden there's this pain that's showing back up, a lot of mind um, energy, um, mind activity happening, revolving around the fact that, hey, you know, like, we're not done here, right? Something is still lingering, something has been left hanging. Let's see that Knight of Cups in your energy. Yeah, we have, ooh, Justice, the Emperor, and the Eight of Wands. All right, so Libra energy is showing up here as well as Aries. Um, yeah, so maybe there's a large percentage of you that are cross-watching for, for an Aquarius. Okay, that could definitely be the case. Um, for others of you, you know, the roles might be reversed. Take it however it resonates because I see you wanting to really, um, I, I see it being you coming back to this connection, taking that, that initiative to either communicate or to take some kind of an action because you're wanting to resolve something. You're wanting to make things right. You're wanting something to balance out. It's like justice needs to be served here or, you know, something needs to come into that balance. Like something just feels off, which it has been creating a lot of this stress. Um, I'm getting that for some of you, it might even be that you've been seeing this person in your dreams, like, like it's been, and that's part of what has triggered this and what has brought this back into your, into your mind. Let's see that Nine of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, the King of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. It's like you're if this is you you're really feeling like this is the person for you I mean I don't know what was happening all this time and because I do feel like there was like this pause and it's like suddenly this is just coming back or this person is just really coming back into your mind if it's not you taking action it's this person returning into your energy um, in a very very major way And it, it, it almost feels like, you know, like the wheel just turned. Like one day you just woke up and you're like, this is what I want. Like, I just want this person um, back in my life. All right, that's at the very least. And then for others of you, it's actually, you know, taking, taking action to communicate with this person. Um, yeah, let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the Eight of Cups.
Okay. We have death, all right, so Scorpio energy showing up here. We have um, the Four of Cups and we have the Two of Pentacles. All right, see, so this person is moving away from a particular situation, all right? It, it could be any type of a situation, but it's some situation in which they were settling. It's a situation that was keeping them very, very unhappy. And it could even be just the fact that, you know, they're single. Um, I don't know. Whatever, it could be another relationship, it could be just another, um, any type of a commitment or just any type of a situation. Whatever it is, it's something that, um, I'm even, I even want to say it's, it's boring to them or they're just indifferent to it. However, they do have a hard time, um, really coping with whatever this ending is. They are ending it, they are moving away from this, but but it's proving to be a little bit difficult for them to just fully um, cope. And again, it's, it's I'm not seeing anything in specific as to what that is. Maybe you would know. It's likely going to be different for everyone. Um, let's see the Ten of Wands, which is also in their energy. Yeah, see, they have the devil showing up now. So there's definitely, they were involved with something toxic here. That's coming to an end, whatever that is, all right? Clarifying the Ten of Wands, we have the devil and the Page of Swords showing up again a second time. Um, yeah, they're ready to release that, okay? For some of them, it could definitely have been an addiction or just um, some kind of a, just a very toxic pattern that they may have found themselves in. Um, unhealthy thinking patterns, for example. It could be anything. Patterns that they were repeating over and over again. They're putting an end to that. They're walking away from whatever whatever that is. And I feel like there is going to be some communication between the two of you and they might actually disclose this information to you. Let's see that page of swords. Judgment and the Four of Wands. Wow. Yeah, major, this is going to be, I feel it's going to be a major um, conversation here that you're going to have with this person. And in one way or another, even if it's a small conversation, like there's going to be a lot of significance to it. Because with that judgment, um, that could even talk about making a major decision. I'm mostly seeing it as like an awakening, right? Which was, um, which is also appearing in your, in your energy, right? For this person, it could be an awakening concerning this, um, movement away from whatever that was toxic, right? This major ending here, by the way, Capricorn energy showing up, um, And then for you, it's like, it does feel like there has been this major awakening in terms of what it is that you want. What it is in terms of, yeah, in terms of what you want when it comes to commitment, love, and having, you know, your needs met. And just feeling that fulfillment. I do feel like for the most part, this is um, going to be you wanting this person, all right, just because we also have that Knight of Cups. But um, yeah, you know, just take what resonates. For some of you, it could just be really just fully realizing what it is that you do want, whether it's this person or not, that this is just how I'm seeing it. So yeah, I do feel like there's going to be conversation concerning a commitment, right, and an awakening or a truth being discovered about a commitment or a connection. All right, so let's see that two of swords in the potential outcome. <laughs> yeah, all right, so we have the hanged man and we have the world showing up again. 
um, which is interesting because right that was the challenge in the challenge position here and even though it is showing up here in the potential outcome it's actually clarifying the two of swords which is telling me that it things are still not done between you and this person um, and again with the with the hanging man like I said it's like a cliffhanger if that's showing up again it's like you whatever happens after this conversation I feel like spirit is saying you this is something you're not meant to know at this point in time. Um, what you can know is that it's it's not over. This connection is not over, all right? There's some kind of a coming back. There's some kind of a um, reconciliation here to some extent on some level, but the story is definitely um, not done. So yeah, sorry, I can't get... <laughs> anything else because that's what I'm being shown here but that is what <clears throat> I'm supposed to say so Aquarius if this resonated please do give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and let's get your final oracle message all right and we have staying focused hold the course yeah you know trust that what what is meant to unfold will, all right? Just hold the course. No need to, you know, um, allow whatever happens here to like set you off your, your particular path, your personal path. And this is also telling me that, you know, whatever, whatever the energies between your connection is at the moment, it's where it needs to be. And that's why it's saying hold the course. Like, the course is actually on its right path. So Aquarius, those were the messages for you. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.